If you're using Microsoft 365 and you're using Jira, then I got the perfect app for you today. My good friends over at Yasun, who are sponsoring this video, have an amazing connector that is going to make your life much more integrated between Jira and your family of Microsoft 365 products. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out the links down below so you can start your free 30-day trial for this Microsoft 365 for Jira connector. Let's jump into Jira and let's take a look. So at this point, I have already installed through the Elastium Marketplace, the Microsoft 365 for Jira app. And I have simply clicked on the get started button. And now all I need to do is do some configurations. Now, what I really like about this is that you get to pick the items that are interesting or important for you. So if you're not going to use them all, then you don't have to activate or configure all these items. And I like that you have that option. I like that you have that control. Now, obviously, if you wanna get the full experience, you're gonna have two different paths here. Path number one is you're gonna to wanna to install all of them. You're gonna to wanna to activate or configure the Teams connector, the email connector, the meetings connector, the calendar, and the Microsoft to do. Alternatively, because this is so well connected with Microsoft 365, your admins can actually do the deployments for you. Because as we're gonna see in this video, a lot of the configurations are done outside of Jira. We're gonna to have to go into Outlook. We're gonna to have to go into Teams and get these add-ons or plugins enabled in those respective applications. But because these are managed tools, your IT admins do have the option to push these plugins into your Teams and Outlook respectively without you having to do the work. So keep that in mind and definitely talk to your IT administrator and your Jira administrator. Sometimes they're the same person, sometimes they're not but just wanted to give you that disclaimer before we get too far in this video. Now, I am going to be focusing on Teams, email, and calendar for this video, so we're just gonna enable those now. So I'm gonna start off with Microsoft Teams, so I'm gonna click on Configure here, and that's gonna take me over to the Teams settings, and we're just gonna to have to install the Teams app, and so I'm gonna click on Microsoft Teams, and I'm gonna basically follow this, right? So I'm gonna do the Smart Connector for Jira, and then I'm gonna add this here. So you have the option to see these detailed instructions, so you can click on these, and it's gonna give you some uh, good detailed instructions. Now I'm simply gonna just bring my Teams over here, and I'm going to follow these instructions to get them set up. I'm just gonna fast forward through these configurations because I really wanna show you the integrations once this is all set up. So just keep in mind that I'm gonna skip over all this, and I'm going to essentially do all the connections, really, really easy to do. I'm, all I'm gonna do is follow these instructions on the screen and I'm gonna see you in just a quick second. Once you've finished configuring your Outlook and your Teams, now we can jump into Jira and let me walk you through what that looks like. When you open up any Jira issue, this experience is gonna be truly amazing. Now keep in mind, as a disclosure, you need to use the same email that you're using in your Microsoft 365 account and your Atlassian account. If you don't have the same email, this is not going to work as efficiently here. So you definitely want to make sure you're using the same email. Now, assuming you're logged into everything all the same, we're not going to have the ability to schedule meetings, send emails and start conversations. Now we're just going to work our way left to right. And let me show you how cool this is. So let's just say that we have this ticket and we're in the comments section and we're you know we're going out of the teams coming they're they're talking about different problems different scenarios and it's just getting kind of long right it's getting very unmanageable we have it all in the comments which is great but we're just typing too much so let's schedule a meeting right and normally your project manager they have to go into outlook they have to find everybody's availability then they have to add the context of hey we're meeting to talk about this issue and so there's a lot of extra steps that have to be taken or you could be using this app and you can just simply click on schedule a meeting and now based on this specific issue right the title becomes the issue so we have the context right we're preserving the awareness of what in the world is this meeting about we're able to do that you're able to add your attendee so everybody that needs to be involved it's all happening right here you can schedule the date and time and then you can put in a location obviously this is going to be a teams meeting so it's going to generate the teams link and then you can add a little bit more context and also keep in mind that everybody's gonna have the link to what spawned this entire meeting. You can look at the availability here, and this is gonna be really, really easy to, again, just make it all very context aware. And so once you add your attendees, you're able to set it up and you'll be able to see that you have 
the meeting schedule. So as you can see, I've already done one a little bit earlier and it just shows up on your calendar. It works just like a regular Teams meeting and everybody just joins it the regular way. The only difference is that everybody is now context aware of what this meeting is all about and the conversation can be kept within the bounds and the scope of that particular ticket. Now, the next thing is, let's just say that we don't need to escalate all the way to a meeting. Maybe we just need to take it offline and work via an email, right? Maybe we want to talk to somebody that's external to Jira or just like another party that doesn't necessarily have access to the Jira ticket. Well, very similarly, we can click on the send email and this is then going to trigger the ability for us to send an email. So again, context awareness here, we're able to start typing in our two. Our subject line is already automatically populated for us. We know exactly what the scope and the context of this email is going to be all about. And we can simply just, you know, go about writing our email. But again, context awareness, folks, is very, very valuable here. This is one of the reasons why I really, really like this app is because as long as you're within that Microsoft 365 environment, you're able to preserve that context. And trust me when I tell you that context preservation is super, super valuable because anytime that somebody in your team has to switch their thought process, their, that train of thought that they're, you know, actively engaged in something and then all of a sudden the tool gets in the way and all of a sudden they have to just stop that train of thought to, you know, go schedule a meeting, go send an email or go do whatever they got to do externally to Jira. You risk losing momentum, critical information, and that train of thought disruption is very, very deadly. Figuratively, of course, right? Like, but just not having that continuum in your workflow when you're trying to solve a problem can be very detrimental to the team solving the problem. And so by using something like this, it just helps preserve that entire context. I'd like to mention that future replies are also automatically linked to the Jira ticket, and you can also use templates to prepare for chats, meetings, and of course, other emails. Now, the last thing that I want to show you here is that you do have the ability to take this beyond email and meetings and actually start conversations in Teams. Now, this integration is very, very slick. I like it because most folks today, we're doing our conversations in a Teams or Slack based environment. And so, again, if you're a Microsoft 365 shop, you're going to be communicating in Microsoft Teams anyways. But now, rather than making it like an afterthought, and rather than having like a clunk integration, this app seamlessly integrates Microsoft Teams with the Jira ticket. So regardless of whether you're in Teams or you're inside of Jira, that context awareness and the ability to not disrupt the workflow and be able to continue that conversation and be able to talk to people that are external to Jira, talk to other stakeholders that need to be aware of the problem or need to provide some sort of input, but they're not necessarily licensed or they're not necessarily you know, Jira savvy, well, they can do it in their natural environment of Microsoft Teams, which is again, where a lot of conversations are happening anyways. Let me show you what the Microsoft Teams integration looks like. When you click on the Start Conversation button, you're gonna have the option to essentially have a real-time conversation in Teams but from within the Jira UI. And you can see that if I click this little plus button here, this is going to allow me to either chat with anybody in my company or external, as long as they have Microsoft Teams, it will have the title of the ticket. And so the context awareness again is preserved. And then you just have a conversation. So rather than starting off a new one there, I'm just showing you one that I'm having with my team member here, Brita. So all I have to do is essentially go hello there. Hello, how are you doing? I need some help with this ticket. And then when you hit send, that team member is going to get this notification. And keep in mind that you can have other team members in the chat. They don't need to have access to Jira. And so you're able to have a conversation with literally anybody you want. You can also send these messages into a channel. And now if I go over into Teams, you're going to see that my conversation is right here. Hello, how are you doing? I need some help with this ticket. And then I can even reply from here. This is good. And when I hit the little send button down here and I go back into Jira. And so this is happening in real time. And you can see that the reply is right there. No need to refresh. It all just happens instantaneously. And everybody is able to have that communication and keep that context awareness of what that message is all about. One note that I would like to tell you about working with external users. This is possible as we saw in the example, but make sure that you may need to be given permission to do so by your Microsoft admin. 
you definitely want to try this out because I can guarantee you that the amount of value you're going to get out of this tool by just having that context preservation. I know I've said this thing like a thousand times in this video, but context preservation is super, super important to having a successful team here. So definitely check this app out. Link is down below if you want to start a free 30 day trial. And as we wrap up this video, I want to mention that all the contents of the emails and the chats are not saved in Jira, but rather they're stored on the Microsoft side, which is really, really important because this app is ISO 27001 compliant. And then finally, keep in mind that we are going to be releasing another video in 2024. So make sure you're subscribed. That video is going to be more centered about the experience from the Microsoft side, not just the Jira side. And so make sure you're subscribed and make sure you come back for that video next year. Hit that like button so that more people can get value out of this video. That's it for this one. And I'll see you in the next one.